I'm Paul Wheaton from the Tackle Direct Pro Staff and we're talking offshore fishing. Today we're going to go over a few techniques for rigging your squid chains. Squid chains are a key part to offshore trolling and will really help get fish in your spread. I want to show you two different ways that I like to rig mine. Squid chains are an awesome way to get fish in the spread and keep them in the spread when you're offshore trolling, um, specifically to bill fishing a lot of the time. They're very effective when tuna fishing and trolling for any pelagic, but especially when you're bill fishing, they really do a great job of raising fish. Uh, there's two different ways that I like to rig mine. One is with a chugger head on the back of your squid chain, and the other is with a cone head or, or Hawaiian eye like this and we rig it then as a swimming bait and on the rougher days I prefer to use the swimming bait it adds a little weight to your squid chain and it helps the squids get a little more commotion but it, then it puts this bait just under the surface and allows the fish to really see it well this is just a standard Islander four ounce head you can use any lure though, you could, you, know, you could use a Joe shoot, any Hawaiian eye style will work for this type of rig. I also, what you'll see here, the pink chain is a color that pretty much I'm always dragging. And I really like to use a different color. When I'm, when I'm dragging pink, I usually do a blue and white for my trailer. It, um, it lends to competitive feeding and two different species. This bait is essentially chasing the, the squid chain and it really gets other fish on the feed and active. Um, putting a bait at the end of your chain is also, it's another almost necessity. Let's say you get a billfish that comes up and he grabs onto that chain. You want him to grab onto a real fish. That will keep him in the spread even after he grabs it. And then that way you can you know, get it out of the way and pitch a hook bait right to him and hopefully get the hook up. But right now we're gonna go over how to rig the Hawaiian eye. It's very simple. Here I've got a 200 pound piece of mono, crimp loop in one end, which I'm going to clip to the snap swivel at the end of my chain here. And then at the other end, just take a two ounce egg sinker, do your mono through the center and around the outside but then also run a piece of copper rigging wire about 14 to 16 inches long and you're going to insert that in your crimp just before you make the crimp and run it through your egg sinker. Let's take a look at how to rig this right now. Well actually first things first I'm going to take my copper rigging wire I'm going to stick it back through the egg what this is going to do is create a loop in the one end. You'll see that loop right here. That's going to go behind the gill plate of the ballyhoo and then I'm going to cinch it down with the weight up under its chin. I'll show you that now. Take the ballyhoo and right here underneath you can very easily separate the gills. So I'll take that come in here and then once I'm through I'll pull this end which is going to cinch that weight and you want it tight and once I cinch that weight down under the chin I'm going to take my rigging wire and I'm going to pass it up through the chin or the neck and then through this soft spot in the top lip of the bait you'll see a V if you look very closely at the top lip of the bait, the center of that V is going to be where you want to push that wire through. It's going to be the easiest point to get it through. Keeping it centered goes right up through there and pull it tight. And I'm going to take my wire and pull it around through the eye. Once around the front of the weight and the next time around the back closing 
the gills off, as you can see. It's going to prevent any water from flowing through there and any issues. Washing your bait out. Next, I'm going to take this wire and push it back up through the lip and then do some finishing wraps. Sometimes you can even get it through the same hole, right up through like that. And I'm going to finish off by wrapping it, but make sure when I wrap it, I wrap the leader tight to the bill. This wire was cut a little short. This one's probably about a foot long. It's really best if you can get, I only got one or two wraps on here on the front. It's best if you do about a 16 inch piece and then you can get about six wraps down the bill, really cinching that leader. But this would work. And there you've got it. Your bait's ready to go. You can rig these the night before. You can put them in your cooler and have them ready to go. But there's your swimming bait. Clip this right on the back of your teaser and you're ready for action. If you have any more questions on how to rig any baits for offshore or any type of fishing, you can check us out at TackleDirect.com or call the number on the screen and speak with one of our pro staff guys. Thanks so much for tuning in.